Hi, this is Worth Godwin of WorthGodwin.com. I'm here to tell you a little bit about some basic computer terminology in this lesson. Now, if, for those of you who don't know me, I have been helping people with their computer problems and their challenges for, well, since 1995. And before that, I was the guy who everybody came to. I didn't get paid for it, but everyone still came for me to me for help and asked me about their problems with the computer and questions if they got stuck and that sort of thing. Over the years, I have learned a lot about how to be a good teacher, and I have learned not just about how the computer works, which I know a lot about, but I've also learned how to explain it in a simple, plain English, easy way that makes a lot of sense. So what I want to cover in this specific lesson is a piece of basic computer terminology that I find people misuse all the time. Now understand I am not criticizing in any way. If you don't understand these things it's not your fault. They've never been explained to you in a way that makes sense. By the end of this lesson you're gonna understand these terms a lot better. They're gonna make much more sense to you and the great thing about understanding computers is that if you understand them better it helps you feel more confident and it helps you acquire your skills more easily. A lot of people get a little too caught up on give me the steps, all I want to know is the steps, give me step one, two, and three. Now I can do that and I do cover a lot of very simple basic step-by-step -step lessons on my video lessons that are on my CDs that are available through my website and the online lessons that are available to my Gold Club members in the special password protected area of my website. But while those do show you the steps and you get to literally see every step, every click of the mouse, and hear me describe what I'm talking about, just as if I'm sitting next to you showing you on the screen of your own computer, it also really helps to understand concepts. And if you can take understanding and couple it with the steps, that's when you can get everything you need in one place and it all comes together and it really starts to make sense and you start to feel much more confident and skilled with me this is what I found over and over again with my clients so what I want to talk about in this lesson is something called a hard drive and something called RAM now I've actually got here a hard drive this is an old hard drive and I wouldn't normally actually be handling it like this. It's uh, several years old. It doesn't work anymore. Uh, the thing is with electronics from the inside of a computer or uh, any other electronic device, you don't want to handle it directly unless you're grounded properly. And I'm not grounded properly right now, uh, which is generally a no-no. But uh, in this case, this is an old dead hard drive. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. It doesn't matter because it's already broken. Uh, what I also have here is something called RAM or memory. Okay. Now, I figured if I can show you these things and explain them a little bit, it's going to make so much more sense to you. And I see people interchanging these terms all the time, and they're not really supposed to be inter interchanged. So let me show this a little closer. This is an older piece of memory, and anybody who's really you know technically knowledgeable will know that this is something that's actually several years old. But again, it really looks to the, especially for the untrained eye, it's almost, it is basically identical to a, a modern piece of memory or RAM. RAM stands for random access memory. And I'll, you know, I'll explain exactly what memory is and what it does in just a moment here. Uh, but I'm just using this as demonstration and it really looks uh, to the untrained eye, it looks identical. Uh, someone who, you know, knows hardware would say, yeah, this is kind of an old piece of memory, but that doesn't really matter for what I'm showing you here. So what is memory? What is a hard drive? Well, a hard drive, let's start with that. You could think of that as storage space. One way of thinking, thinking of it is as a set of shelves. What do you do with a set of shelves? You store things on them. It could be books, it could be uh, tools, it could be pieces of um, wood if you're doing woodworking or almost anything. You understand that. It's a set of shelves. That's what your hard drive is. And this is the hard drive in a computer. This is from a desktop computer. If you had a laptop computer, you have something that looks almost identical to this, but it's just a bit smaller. And the hard drive is, a lot of people sometimes will get confused because some people say hard drive, some people say hard disk. But if you actually take this thing apart, inside of it, 
there's a disc right there kind of looks like a CD to maybe on this recording it's actually made of metal and uh, that's where all the actual information on your computer is stored so that means if you use a Windows computer Windows lives on here it, or if you have a Mac computer Mac OS 10 lives on here on this actual spinning it is it spins it's a little disc kind of like a record or CD player or CD rather um, it just stores it a little the information a little differently but it's kind of the same idea in a, in a same in a way and uh, all that gets stored on here photos email uh, word processing documents all those things are stored on the computer in the computer in the specific part called the hard drive and that's what this is now again so it's like storage space now what is memory or RAM RAM you can think of it like a workbench now if you're working on a project let's say you're doing woodworking it could be any project it could be sewing it could be uh, anything it doesn't really matter if you're working on a project you need a space to do your work now if you're doing say schoolwork or uh, studying something you might have books opened up and laid out on the table if you're doing a woodworking project you might have your tools uh, pieces of wood and so forth or whatever your project is you have the pieces you have the tools you need and the pieces that are needed for the project all laid out on that workbench well that basically speaking that's what this memory is for it's a temporary working space in the computer where projects can be done so what happens is let's say you want to work on a word processing document you go and you will go and click or double click rather on the little word icon or a specific word document icon it's going to open up on the screen when that happens it's actually taking the information off the hard drive and loading it into memory and so it's very much the same as if you're going to your shelves you're pulling the objects that you need for your project off the shelves and you're putting it out on the workbench or the tabletop if you will that's loading it into memory so you can think of your word processing program word for example as a tool and then the word processing document the thing you're actually writing that's the project you're working on so you need the right tool or the right application or program for the right project so if you're working on a photo you might use Photoshop or Picasa or iPhoto depending on what computer you have and what exactly you're trying to accomplish and that would be the tool that you're working with on the workbench in memory and uh, the thing is if you think about a workbench if you've got a really tiny workbench that's only say you know two foot square it's gonna be very hard for you to get your work done and while you might be able to do it it's gonna be very inefficient and it's gonna be slowed down because you don't have enough uh, working room or elbow room if you will and so what you end up doing is wasting time taking one part of the project doing what you can with it then running out of space and moving part of it off swapping it off of the uh, tabletop or workbench out of memory and putting it back maybe you're just sort of sticking it on the edge of the shelf and then you're grabbing the next piece you're putting it on the workbench and you're working on it and obviously if you had a bigger workbench you'd be able to get the work done more efficiently because you're not running out of space and thus you can get the work done more quickly this is why a lot of times adding memory or adding RAM upgrading your computer very inexpensively will speed the computer up if you don't have enough memory your computer is literally swapping stuff out of memory taking it out of here putting it back on the hard drive temporarily in a temporary swap file and then going to the next piece and then running out of memory again swapping again and so forth so having more memory increases the speed of the computer in terms of efficiency and how smoothly it can work because it gives it more elbow room so to speak so that is basically what I wanted to cover what a hard drive is and what it does and what a, what memory is or RAM and what it does and what the purpose of it is for so worthgodwin.com w-o-r-t-h-g-o-d-w-i-n.com for more lessons like this and more and uh, I'll continue this lesson and these these topics in other little lessons and tips like this one until later this is worth godwin of worthgodwin.com